got some time to reflect. What do you think about last night? Well, I thought we, we did some good things. Obviously, we got some contributions from uh, from our young guys, but I just thought we uh, gave up too many points off of our uh, turnovers, live ball turnovers, and actually some of their block shots. You know, kind of uh, led to them getting like I think probably 19 points and uh, transitions and off turnovers. I mean, but I thought we did a pretty good job with them in the in the half court. Obviously, they're a, a, a team that. Pounded us a little bit on the offensive boards, but it, we got some of those offensive boards back ourselves, so that kind of balanced out. But I think the difference was, um, you know, our, our, us not taking care of it and them, you know, getting those opportunities in transition. We cleaned those things up a little bit, and then I, I think we, our, our margin is better. Down 15, 17, that's, that's, that's the difference in the game right there. J.K. Roberts left the game last night, and the whole semester wasn't dressed. Do you have an update on him? <clears throat> well, I think he has like a, a hip flexor. I don't think it's major. I think it's kind of minor, but it's just a matter of time for him to heal. Hope, hopefully, heal sooner rather than later because he's been doing some really good things for us. I mean, his, his athleticism, um, his length um, can, can clean up some mistakes for us on the defensive end as, as a shot blocker. And I thought he's been, you know, doing pretty good on the ball as well. Um, you see a couple threes go in for him, so his confidence is getting there um, from from the offensive side. But um, he, he has a really Really big upside, so we hope we get him back sooner. Like I said, sooner than, than, than later. Any positive you can take from the game last night? Yeah, I mean, there's there's always some positives you can take. I mean, there's a bunch of negatives I can take from it too. That you know, that we're going to try to clean up and, and, and address. Uh, we, we just got to the ball is a little too sticky right now, and it's just a lack of trust. Um, you know, basically from our, our main guys. You know, and I think that they're uh, they're, they're trying and, and they're starting to press a little bit when you know you. you sharing the ball with your teammates and we're not making it at the clip that, that we're capable of and then you kind of take the onus of wanting to do it on your own and um, but you know I mean like you know Ez is one of those guys again we, we need him to be more of a point guard than, than, than the scoring guard for us and you know, those are things that we try to convey to him but you know where are we without it right so I mean it's, he's, he's invaluable to who we are on the defensive end um, you know on the offensive end as well but we, we need him to you know and tire and to, to, to trust these guys a little bit more, and uh, I know it's it, it's tough. When, but again, I think they they have to take down the responsibilities of getting them easy opportunities, getting them in a rhythm, and, um, and and then you know I think we'll see more shot making from guys once they you know see the ball go in, maybe off of a layup or something like that. I, I got to try to help them with that too. You know, put them some um, some some sets to get guys some layups, get something closer to the basket. Then uh, once, once you see it, it's a, it's a confidence game. It's a me miss and make league. Once you see the ball go in, you have a little bit more confidence, and that's what we, uh, we, we got to get to. I mean, we, we, got, we got to perform. You know, we can't have one of our top guys you know, he's only make field goals in, in, in the first half. You know, we, we, we got to perform to, to beat a team like that, not just play with them, but uh, we, we know that we can beat them once we have some performances, and we just hadn't had enough of those performances. It's, we're putting too much pressure on our defense. Um, I think when you're when we were making shots early, now they were taking the ball out of the basket as opposed to having the opportunity to run at us in transition, which they were very good at. Um, so I think that's seeing the ball goes in the basket um, cures a lot of ills for, for any basketball team. You think defense would be a little bit better too? Yeah, I mean, no, I think our, our defense has been good. And our half court sets, we, we, we've been good. We hadn't been finishing it off. You know, like we, they shot, uh, they got back probably approximately like 45% of the shots that they missed. And we made them miss. At, at a good clip, but now we got to secure those offensive rebounds. That's just the physicality thing that I talked about going into the game. That was a big thing that I wanted to see, and the physicality wasn't at the level that it needed to be to beat that particular team, an experienced team, a uh, team that, that has the size that they that they have, um, the, the the wings and the guards that crash at the rate that they do. We need everybody going to, to hit, and, and we just we didn't. And it happened early in the game. Right? It's like on the second possession. You know, we play great defense, and we miss a miss a box out. They get it, and, and we kick it out for three. So I mean, those are the things. You, if you take those numbers off the board, then you don't look at a you know, 13, 15 point deficit. You're looking at you know something you know, single digit, which is you know two or three possessions, and that's and that's how we we look at it. And we didn't do enough of that. We still again we're, we're doing it better than than we did earlier on, but we're still not doing it at the level to win in the SEC right now, but uh, I'm confident that we can get there. How do, you, how do you teach that? How do you get that 
to get to that mentality that <coughs> physically get physically hard? Well, I mean, it's, it's I've tried everything. You know, I mean, if you got any suggestions, let me know. But uh, I, I think you, you watch it and you just understand the urgency of when we do it right and when we uh, go and, and make those contact outside the. The pain, I mean, you guys turning, right? They're turning and looking, but now we got to go make contact. And then you just, you got to want to be physical. You got, you got to, got to want to do it. And um, yeah, we, we, we've been talking about it, and we got some guys that are doing it, and some guys that are doing it some, but it, uh, enough. And we got like our top, so our top guys are, you know, had four bad box outs. You know, that, that's a lot of bad box outs for for a game. And we track all of those things, and we, we're showing those numbers. And you know, I'm, I'm from kind of the old school. I, I like to. You know, take the pride test to continue to point out these things, and hopefully, you know, you get tired of coach talking about me not boxing out and doing the things that I need to do, not doing my job and practicing, and, and, and in turn, that's going to motivate me to to go out because I may get a few more minutes. Like, you know, if, if I do those things, I mean, that's that, that's coaching to me. That's that's how I know how to do it, and that's that, that's what motivated me. And I'm hopefully it to try to motivate these guys to to do it at a a, a better clip. It's, it's you gotta want. The physicality, and I mean, some of when you don't do it, sometimes it's fatigue. Maybe it's on me playing guys a little bit longer than, than I should. And but you got to be honest with that too. If you're tired and you need a blow, get a tire signal. We we, we got guys over here that, that, that we trust. But if you're in the game and as you need one, and you say you're okay, then we expect you to, to, to do your job. And, and those those things aren't happening at the level that you need to win in, in this league. And that's what we're. Our younger guys are learning it. Our older guys know it. And they just just got to uh, got to do it. With the ball sticking, is your natural instinct to call more sets, like you said, or is it just messaging? What's your kind of approach there? Excuse me. With what the ball it? sticking, uh, is your natural instinct to call more sets? <laughs> no, I mean I think it's. I mean it, it, those things happen at the end of sets, right? I mean like when you, you you run a set, all right, you didn't get exactly what you want to out of it. Now we get these late actions that we have you know, on, on the side or in the middle of the of the floor, and then when you get in the paint, instead of you know launching or uh, taking a, a low percentage shot. It's, it's playing off of two feet, uh, maybe using head fakes. And once you do that and you flatten the defense, there become people that become open on the perimeter. And we're missing those right now. I mean, that, those, they're, they're open opportunities on the perimeter. Um, but again, if you, 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 you kick a few and they don't go in, right now it's like, all right, now I have to do it. That, that can't be our mentality. We've got to continue to trust that because not only is it a shot, there's an opportunity to drive as well and get to the free throw line. That's, that's where we, you know, when you're not shooting it well, not scoring it well, you got to be able to still generate points. And I think the free throw line is something. That's why we you know, leak. You know, Jason, those guys, um, they, they have the ability to, to, to do that, to, to help us get uh, more free throws. Have you had a chance to look at the state yet and see what, what do they look like? <clears throat> yeah, they look like Tulo Smith. You know what I'm saying? He's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's been a load. He's been a load for a long time. I mean, you know, he's been, it's like he's been here long as I've been here, right? And uh, literally, right? So I think it's uh, uh, he's a load down there. Uh, they got a, a, another big coming off the bench who you know who doesn't let up, who posts up hard as well. They got they got guards that, that can make shots. Uh, they they defend. You know, again, similar to the team the team that we played last night, but maybe even more physical. On the on the block, you know, with, with their intent to try to get the ball to him. So we uh, we got our got our work cut out for him. But I do think if we we move the ball and, and share share the ball the way that we're capable of, we can have some success on the offensive end. But we're going to have to you know really have a, a, a physical um, disposition on the defensive end to be able to to, to combat their attack. You're closer with the women's program than we are. How have you seen Shea Ross program all over the last couple of years? I mean, Shea's been doing a great job, man. Unbelievable job with you know, where you know, where this started and um, kind of how you know, her hands were tied when we first got here. Um, as, as far as the talent, she's been able to go out and, and get the talent. And um, again, they've gotten off to a great start, playing extremely well, and then she she deserves it. But she, I've seen her walk into a car and, and you know in the, in the last couple of years, and they weren't, weren't the happiest walk. So I mean, she she deserves. Uh, everything that, that's coming to her and her team and, um, and, and we, we support them when they're playing. Obviously, we wish them well today.